This is going to be good. What you're about to see is how it's done. If you're going to get on national television with known Democrat political operatives pretending to be reporters, you have to be ready to smack down their Orwellian attempts to hypnotize the country. Check this out, then stick around for the rest of the story. Trump has been saying on Truth Social just yesterday or a couple days ago that he wants to prosecute uh, people that are acting nefariously in uh, the election, already casting doubt about this election and still refusing to accept the results of the last election. Why? Well, I mean, first of all, the, the, the premise of that question sort of presupposes that certain people are okay with people breaking election law. And I don't really think that's the case. If people break election law, they should be prosecuted. But I don't they think are. there's anything wrong with that. They are prosecuted. C certainly. So why is this such a controversial thing? It's something that we should all agree on. But talking about extending it to legal, um, you know, uh, other legal teams, to donors, uh, you know, it, it, it suggested the idea of prosecuting political opponents. That also already has happened. If you're going to ask a question about someone prosecuting political opponents and don't mention that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris's Department of Justice are currently, at this moment, prosecuting Donald Trump, then it's not an honest and forthright conversation. They are currently, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and the Department of Justice are currently engaged in a prosecution that could end up with them trying to sentence Donald Trump to jail. The way you ask that question, it's though that's not even happening, but it is happening. And I think once you arrive at the conclusion that none of these charges Those are would not have directives been, of the Justice Department. Who is in charge of the Justice Department? Is it an executive branch agency? Who leads the executive branch? Who appoints the Attorney General? The Attorney General is not part of the Constitution as some sort of independent officer. The Attorney General is a member of the executive branch over which Joe Biden and Kamala Harris preside. That's inescapable. Yes, finally! I don't understand why more people aren't calling this out and just go along with the media's narrative that somehow it would be something completely new and unheard of if Donald Trump got into power and started prosecuting his opponents. Which, by the way, I wouldn't like either. I don't want Donald Trump prosecuting his opponents. But the fact of the matter is, for the last four years, that's exactly what Joe Biden has done. Not only have they made up all these fake crimes that were specifically tailored for Donald Trump to get him in prison before an election, which is completely insane on its own but there's way more remember way back when barack obama was president and he weaponized the irs against his opponents that is completely different fast forward to the biden regime and now we have tulsi gabbard one of joe biden's political opponents put on the terrorist watch list that's completely different or how about the fbi constantly getting caught in lies to cover for democrats and corruption in the course of targeting Democrats' political opponents for prosecution. Down to regular people at church and parents at school board meetings. Oh, that was different. Or the DOJ putting Republicans in prison for ignoring congressional subpoenas. While Merrick Garland himself, who is the head of the DOJ, has ignored congressional subpoenas himself and found that he was above the law. Well, that's different. Hunter Biden ignored his and he wasn't put in jail. Eric Holder, Obama's attorney general, ignored congressional subpoenas and didn't go to jail. But the Republicans, Joe Biden and Democrats' political opponents, do go to prison. That's different. Or how about J6 protesters, of which only a tiny minority actually got violent. Sure, you can prosecute the violent people, but the other thousand plus peaceful people who were just trespassing on Capitol grounds and were then hunted down like terrorists by the Biden government. And we know that this came specifically from Joe Biden because he went out and bragged about the fact that he had thrown all of his political opponents in prison and how much time all of those people had acquired in prison time. Since that day, more than 1,200 people have been charged for their assault on the Capitol. Nearly 900 of them have been convicted or pled guilty. Collectively to date, they have been sentenced to more than 840 years in prison. Um. Are we the it's completely insane. Honestly, has any U.S. president ever done anything like that? Let me know in the comments. Meanwhile, years worth of Democrat riots result in charges being widely dropped and even rioters and looters being paid out millions by the cities they destroyed. Because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. On top of that, 
Our media, which was supposed to be a fourth estate to keep all power in check, has now just become a weapon of the Democrat Party to use against their political opponents and to protect their power. Add all of this up, and America is looking like something that you would see in China, North Korea, or Russia. Lastly, let me just say that I don't think Trump would ever be successful in prosecuting his political opponents. Because in order to do that, he would need to have some sort of control over the institutions who are roadblocks and checks on that kind of tyranny. If Trump tried to, the media would wildly oppose it and promote mass protests in the streets every single day. Schools would have national walkouts. Hollywood would have regular meltdowns. And generally, all the institutions would align to stop Donald Trump. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button and subscribe. I post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.